Can you destroy? What did you see? Möchtest du eine Probe nehmen? Ich habe keine Beutel. The system analyzes the uh, colors and uh, makes different pictures out of it where we know where to go. Tells us where differences in color values are. Okay, now we'll come uh, to the vehicle uh, pressurized uh, rover. Ja, dem ist es heimlicher. Oh, very nice one. You want a sample of this one? Yeah. If this is a life form, it must have taken years to grow here. <laughs> that is very interesting. Copy. 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 You easy sample this one. Decompression now starting, starting decompression. what we call the terraforming, so making uh, Mars habitable. Um, and some uh, scientists are looking at it, and possibly we could, in a time scale of a few hundred years, progressively uh, transform uh, Mars that uh, you could make it uh, a bit habitable. Yeah, so there is no oxygen on, on Mars. There is, uh, there is a, a very tenuous atmosphere, which is uh, more than 100 times more tenuous than uh, on the Earth. And it's not oxygen, it's mostly a uh, carbon yeah. dioxide, so you cannot uh, breathe it. The gravity on Mars is uh, one third so, uh, of uh, the one on the, on the Earth. On the Moon is one sixth. Uh, there are also ways eventually where you could uh, biologically engineer ourselves to add, uh, for instance, uh, some apparatus where we would be able to breathe. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, oxygen is our uh, drugs and also the passion 
for what we do and also this uh, fun experience to be with uh, the great uh, team. But everybody with their own experience, yeah. their expectation, yeah. they bring their thing, we learn uh, from each other. And also we are inspired by the Martian landscape that we are around. Mars is really very far away and you just see images and you just can quickly lose the context between images and data and what is really happening as a process on the surface. Uh, the cameras we're using and we're intentionally using are very cheap. But now we see that these cameras really have some color distortions and we have to take care of that. So because otherwise you would um, uh, you will get uh, false positives, as we would call that. It's from, from the phone they get uh, uh, from the computer and from the computer back to the phone. So that oh, yeah, I can see them in, in when I'm outside. But only on a very small, tiny display, and so it's much better. biologist so my techniques are on, on the molecular level of cells and uh, my everyday work contains also the PCR that's the polymerase chain reaction a reaction where you can have a single DNA molecule and the single um, DNA uh, molecule you cannot really touch you cannot see but if you amplify it and produce many of the same type you can with uh, specific um, methods you can make it visible and I think that is a really really good uh, chance a good method to go on another planet to see if there's really or if there is or has been life really and to detect it so as long as we stay um, between the stones we are in the habitat because on Mars, uh, they would need uh, to be able to quickly and safely reach their power system and water system, of course. So yes, I will first check the oil pressure of the motor, mm -hmm. the generator, and then I stop the generator and I check the other data. I will check one data. Now there is a 
Oh. There is a road here, which uh, you have found. We, we can call it, it uh, Orange Balloon Road. Well, it has a name somewhere. <laughs> yeah, it does. <laughs> but uh, it's just, just uh, near the Orange... Uh, uh, yeah, it's somewhere here. Orange it road. But you can't do it with the car. We cannot do no, it. No. No. Yeah, but but you don't go too oh, much in advance. Yeah. You can, when you are lost in a place, you can release at a few hundred meters the balloon to know where you are. Of course, at the moment we have not completely corrected the motion of the camera, but this can be helpful because then you have some panoramic, uh, panoramic view. One minute left. <laughs> Watch out! Uh, wood or something. Okay, some you are on petrified wood. That's the right track. Uh, watch it, uh, Janet and Zoot. You are very near to the place. le mode pour euh, photo proche ouais Alors, man könnte halt so ein Ding benutzen um praktisch die Kameras die an den Rädern sind zu überwachen mhm. und ständig durchlaufen zu lassen so dass wenn der wieder durch so was Weißes fährt, wie dieser Spirit, ja. dass der sofort Alarm schlägt ne? ja. mhm. und mhm. sich das keiner angucken muss. Ja. With the astronaut equipped with the cyborg and then with the other biologist, I confirmed it is a good candidate. And now she is uh, excavating. First we detected some fossilized wood fragment indicating that indeed life can be preserved there and now we have found a heat on a structure that looks very much like a, a bone. So we are excavating around, we leave it in situ but we are looking what is the extent of the find. It's so big. 
It's a whole beast. There. <laughs> Yeah. Yeah. You already uh, <laughs> bring your... Yeah, uh, so it's always the excitement of uh, this little fragment, which uh, I think is really much uh, looking like, uh, like a bone structure. Mm -hmm. Organization like a bone tissue. So very different from the fossil wood that we found uh, um, later. Yeah, yeah, yes. Okay. So these are uh, living bacteria that are living out of rocks. Mm -hmm. They are uh, buried, I mean, they found their niche in some layers below the rocks. Mm -hmm. And uh, actually there are various uh, a symbiosis between di different microorganisms. These green ones are below and they are uh, photosynthetic. Mm -hmm. And there is one layer, a kind of brown layer, that protects them from the ultraviolet. And they, they feed on rock. They are uh, going for this, in particular on quartz. They eat, eat it. And uh, this type of um, uh, organism, you can find them in some of the earliest um, organisms in the so called stromatolite that you find in a very ancient earth. Wow. Uh, the Martian year is uh, 600, uh, is, is actually double the time as on Earth, yeah? more than 600 days. So you have this temperature cycle also, which you, you know, try to simulate and, uh, in the laboratory to see what kind of processes can be active. So we have this kind of vacuum chambers um, where we uh, have a CO2 atmosphere, uh, trying to mimic the atmosphere of Mars and we um, mimic also radiation, ultraviolet radiation, and uh, also we can have a temperature cycle in those um, mass chambers. And then we are trying to put uh, organic material, or even some people do it with life forms, in those mass chambers and try to mimic the diurnal cycle, as it's called, huh? Uh, on Mars and try to see what's happening actually uh, to the organic molecules and the most perfect thing is that you take actually soil from locations on the world which are Mars-like. Um, there are some regions particularly in Chile, uh, also Hawaii volcanic ash has been used uh, as, a, as an analog and we use this uh, in the laboratory to, to just to play little Mars. <laughs> So you just, uh, you know, go on the web, click, and you, you can order some gallons of uh, Martian soil analog. It's called GSC-1. Friends of us, they have found some weird mineral, and they tested it, they analyzed it with the XRD, so the rent uh, the X-ray diffractometry and with Raman spectrometry and infrared spectrometry and also it looked very strange because it was really yellow so very different and they broke it into pieces and they looked it on, in the microscope and then eventually they found a, a Geiger detector and well it, they worked so <laughs> uh, so they, they quickly put it somewhere to a place and then washed themselves and cleaned up the, the the laboratory so if there was no danger at any time for the public <laughs> or for themselves but anyway this was a, a moment that gave some new impression that really there is something here which you don't expect You're here because you have those formations like here uh, uh, with those uh, uh, laminated sediments um, where you uh, have the possibility to test it well. That's why we are here. Yes, I'm, I'm coming in. Stop, stop here. 
right here. Hello? Hello. Hi. Hi. Do you remember me? I do. You're in the suit now, huh? I went outer space. Yeah. <laughs> I'm, I'm glad you have a station here. Yeah. <laughs> It's crazy. Can you make a phone call for the aircraft? I need to fly out of here. Okay. Great. So, all we want is a six pack. And life is so simple. Oh, okay. And this is what we need. The same rotation as ours. Okay, well, I've seen people like you before. <laughs> I'm looking for an airplane. Lovely space girl. <laughs> <laughs> and then you. <laughs> <laughs> you just picked. <laughs> so now it's my turn. <laughs> I think it's a man's job to go into space. <laughs> so, how was your day? Happy, but skinny. <laughs> <laughs> I want to orbit you to the moon and Mars and It went pretty well. I did my experiments. I don't know about the others. <laughs> and well, for us it's working great. For me and Lawrence.